Hello learners, welcome to the video lecture series of IUPAC rules for naming organic compounds. In this video, we discuss IUPAC rules for naming alkyl halides. Learning outcomes. At the end of this video, the learners will be able to name the alkyl halides following the IUPAC rules and the learners will be able to draw the structure of alkyl halides from its IUPAC name. Alkyl halides are also called as haloalkanes. The compounds which contain carbon halogen bonds are called as alkyl halides means the compounds in which one or more hydrogen atoms in an alkane have been replaced by halogen atoms such as fluorine, chlorine, bromine and iodine. So these are the halogen atoms. For example, ethyl chloride. In ethyl chloride, one hydrogen of ethane is replaced by chlorine atom which is a halogen. That's why it is called as ethyl chloride and it is known as alkyl halides or it is also called as haloalkanes. So let's discuss about the common name of alkyl halides. So alkyl group plus name of halide is written as a separate word. For example, methyl chloride. So this is a methyl group and attached chlorine. So it is called as halide. So it is becomes chloride. In another example, it is called as ethyl bromide as bromine is attached to the ethyl group. This is a isopropyl iodide as iodine is attached to the isopropyl alkene. So it is called as isopropyl iodide. So commonly alkyl halides is written as the name of alkyl group plus the name of halide groups. So let's see the classification of alkyl halides. It is classified into the primary alkyl halides as the halogen atoms is attached to primary carbon atom. In case of secondary alkyl halides, the halogen atom is attached to the secondary carbon atom. And third type is tertiary alkyl halides in which the halogen atoms is attached to tertiary carbon atom. It means that the classification of alkyl halides is depending upon the halogen atom attached to which carbon atom. Let's see the example. In case of primary alkyl halides, the halogen atom attached to primary carbon atom. What is mean by primary carbon atom means the primary carbon atoms is attached to one other carbon atom. That's why it is called as primary carbon atom. In case of secondary alkyl halides, the halogen atom is attached to secondary carbon atom. What is meant by secondary carbon atom? The secondary carbon atom attached with two other carbon atoms. That's why it is called as secondary carbon atom. Similarly, tertiary alkyl halides in which the halogen atoms is attached to tertiary carbon atom. Tertiary carbon atom means what? It is attached to the other three carbon atom. So that's why it is called as tertiary carbon atom. If you want to learn about the IUPAC rules for the alkyl halides, then you must know the IUPAC rules for the alkane. So just watch this video. The link is available in description box. Also, you can watch this video by click on the screen. So let's see the rules for naming the alkyl halides. Rule number one is you have to select the longest continuous carbon chain containing halogen atoms. Then rule number two is you have to give the name to the longest carbon chain depending upon the number of carbon atom present in that chain. So just give the name of that particular corresponding alkane name. Then number the longest chain in a such a way that the substituent carrying carbon atom must possesses the lowest possible number. Then you have to prefix the position number and 
name of substituents onto the parent name of the continuous carbon chain. Remember that halogen is act as substituents. Next rule is if there are same substituents are present two or more times then you have to use di, tri, tetra this prefix for naming the substituents and if the two or more different substituents are present then you have to arrange the substituents according to their alphabets. If you follow these rules you will be able to name the alkyl halides following the IUPAC rules. The most important rule is prefix the name of alkane by halogen name. You know very well the name of halogen having suffix i and e. So it must be replaced by O. Let's see the example. In case of chlorine, so you have to replace this i and e of chlorine by oxygen that is O. So chloro, chlorine becomes chloro. Fluorine becomes fluoro, iodine becomes iodo and bromine becomes bromo. So whenever the halogen atoms are present as a substituents, that time you have to use the prefix such as chloro, fluoro, iodo, bromo which will be prepared by the replacing the I and E by O. So it will become a name of substituents. So generally the alkyl halides name as haloalkanes. So halogen is act as substituents and parent name is the name of that continuous carbon chain that is alkane. So let's give the name to this compound. First rule is select longest possible continuous chain. Then give the numbering. You can choose either directions as it will give two number to the substituents carrying carbon atom. Then parent name is as it contains three carbon atom, so it name is propane. Then substituent name is fluoro. It is attached to the two number carbon atom. So give the prefix two, and then add the substituent names onto the parent name. So name of this compound is two fluoropropane. Pause the video for a while. Think on these questions that is try to give the IUPAC name of this compound and then play the video. Hope you have done with these questions. So you have to follow the rules. First rule is select longest continuous carbon chain. Rule number two is numbering the longest continuous chain. So you have to select from right to left as one number carbon atom containing the substituents. So always start the numbering in a such a way that substituents carrying carbon atom must possessing the lowest possible number. So as the parent chain contain five carbon atom, so parent name of that chain is a pentane, then try to find out the substituents. Yes, substituents are the chlorine. So write down its prefix as a chloro. Prefix it as di because chlorine is present two times and then mention the position number. 3 comma 3 dichloro is the name of that particular substituents. Then try to find out the another substituents that is bromine prefix as bromo and mention its position number that is 1. Now here are two different substituents are present. So as per IUPAC rules we have to arrange the name of substituents according to their alphabets. So chlorine starts with C and bromine starts with Bre. So according to the alphabets bromine comes first. So name of this compound is 1-bromo-3-3-dichloropentane. Dear students, always remember as wherever there is same substituents are present 
by two or more than two times, then you have to use prefix di, tri, tetra, depending upon the number of times that same substituent is present. If the different substituents are present, then you have to arrange the name of substituents according to their alphabetical orders. Always remember, the number of positions are separated by commas and you have to put a hyphen between the position number and the name of substituents. If you follow these four important rules, you never be made mistakes in writing the IUPAC nomenclatures. So this is the another example. Rule number one is select longest continuous carbon chain and give the numbering. Suppose if you numbering from left to right, numbering is like that. If you numbering from right to left, the numbering is started from this end. If you see the one of the numbering system that is from left to right, in that conditions, the substituents carrying carbon atoms having position second and fifth. So this is the position second and fifth. So this is fifth number carbon atom. And if you consider the numbering system from right to left, then the position of substituents carrying carbon atom is 3 and 6. If you follow the left to right, the position is 2 and 5. If you follow right to left, then position 3 and 6. So which one is lowest possible? Definitely 2 and 5 is the lowest possible number. That's why this is the correct directions of numbering and this is incorrect direction of numbering. So you have to always follow this rule. Then, as it contains the 7 carbon atom, so parent name is heptane, that is alkane name. Then try to find out the substituents. Substituent is a methyl group and methyl group is present two times, that is why use a di prefix and mention its position, that is 2 and 5. So 2, 5, dimethyl is the name of substituents. Then another substituent is a bromine, so use its prefix as a bromo, then mention its position number that is 5. So bromo starts with B, methyl starts with M. Don't consider di because di is not name of substituents. So always consider the name of substituent, so M. Between M and B, B comes first, so name of compound is 5 bromo to 5 dimethyl heptane. Dear students, if you follow this method, you will be able to write IUPAC names very effectively. So always try to find out the substituents, parent chain along with suffix. So what is mean by parent chain? So how many carbon atoms are present in the longest chain? If you are able to find out the longest possible carbon chain, then you have to give the corresponding alkane name. If it contains the functional group, then always use suffix. So what is suffix used for that particular functional group? In case of alkyl halides, there is no functional groups. So alkane is a, itself is a act as suffix. Then try to find out the substituents. Means what is attached to the parent chains and where it attach. If you able to follow these three important points, you will be able to write the IUPAC name correctly, means substituents onto the parent chain, that is name of parent chain, followed by the suffix of that particular functional groups. So try to draw out the following molecule, that is 2-chloro-3-5-dimethylhexane. So first step is parent chain along with the suffix. Suffix is A and E means it is a alkane and hexane means the 6 carbon containing chain. So draw first carbon skeletal which contains 6 carbon atom and give the numbering from either end. Then you have to find out the substituents. So try to find out the first substituent. Yes, it is 2-chloro. So attach chloro group at C2, so that is at carbon number 2. So just attach the chlorine at number 2. Then 
proceed for the next substituent and next substituent is methyl group di prefix is used means methyl group is present two times and their position is 3 and 5 so attach two methyl group at c3 and c5 that is c3 and c5 we have to attach two methyl group like this and last step is supply the hydrogen atoms to complete the octet so dear students always remember carbon only has a four bonds so you have to supply the number of hydrogen atoms to each carbon atom in order to complete its octet so remember carbon only has four bonds whenever you draw the structures always check the structures along with the valency of carbon atom always you have to follow this rule means you have to check the valency of carbon atom at every time suppose we consider this carbon atom it has three hydrogens and another one bond with other carbon atoms it completed its four bonds likewise if you follow this rule you will be definitely able to draw a structure correctly thank you very much for the watching this video keep watching this video lecture series for the study of IUPAC rules for naming of organic compounds don't forget to subscribe the youtube channel thank you thank you very much